Okay, so those of you who completed the HTML unit, I just want to repeat and say again, very, very, very good job. We're going to move on to CSS next. CSS is the companion language to HTML, and the first lesson is just an introduction to CSS. It stands for Cascading Style Sheets. So whereas you can think of HTML um, to be the skeleton or the structure of a web page, you can think of CSS as the skin or the makeup that would go on top of that skeleton. So CSS is the language that you use to change or affect how your websites look, feel, and are presented visually, okay? The first exercise is first style with CSS, and the instructions are modify the CSS style of this page so that the H1 tags are green and the LI tags have a font size of 18 pixels. So our results should look like this. Again, we're concerned in CSS with how things look visually, all right? So when you... Um, run this code initially, you'll see that the heading is in orange and the list items have a standard font size. So we want to edit the CSS rules, which are up here. The CSS rules are inside of a embedded style sheet and you create an embedded style sheet with the opening and closing style tags and you put the style sheet inside of the head portion of your web page. So it's going to be invisible to anyone looking at your website. Only you as the developer or coder would be able to see your style rules. Okay, so the style rules are inside of the style sheet. So let's look at the first rule and talk a little bit about how rules are structured. Okay, the first part of a style rule is the selector. Okay, this tells the browser what you're trying to style. And in this case, this selector is selecting all H1 tags. Inside of your style rule, you have property value pairs. So the three properties that we're editing for the H1 in this rule are color, which is set to the value of orange, font size, which is set to the value of 35 pixels, and then font family, which is set to Helvetica. So this setup of selector property property value is the basic anatomy of every style rule that you're going to write in CSS. Okay, so to change the color to green, which is our goal, we're just going to go ahead and change the value of the color property from orange to green. And to set the font size of the LI, the LI tags, okay, so this selector selecting all LI tags, and we want to set the font size to 18 pixels. So we're just going to set that as the value. So basically, just to recap, these rules are basically saying grab all of my H1 tags and then apply these properties and property values. Grab all of my LI tags and apply this property and property value. So when we run this, we should see that our heading is now green and our font size for our list items is set to 18 pixels. Okay, so very good job on writing your first CSS rule. This is just the beginning. We're going to learn a lot more. If you have any questions on anything I just mentioned, leave it in a comment.